Understanding the Honors List in Academic Circles. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase that you might come across in academic contexts. Honors List. This phrase can be a bit confusing if English isn't your first language. So in this video, we'll break it down for you. Stay tuned to learn not just its meaning, but also how it's used in real-life situations. First, let's talk about what the honors list actually is. This term is predominantly used in educational institutions, particularly in universities and colleges. Being on an honors list signifies that a student has achieved exceptional academic success. It's a form of recognition for outstanding performance in their studies. But remember, the criteria for making it onto this list can vary from one institution to another. Now, you might be wondering, how does one get on the honors list? Generally, students need to achieve a certain grade point average, GPA, which is a way of measuring academic performance. Some schools might require participation in advanced or honors courses as well. It's important to note that these criteria are not universal and can differ widely. Being on the honors list is not just a title, it comes with various benefits. Students might receive special recognition during graduation ceremonies, like wearing distinct honors cords or stoles. It can also be a significant advantage when applying for graduate programs or jobs, as it showcases a high level of academic achievement. To help you understand better, let's see how this phrase is used in sentences. 1. Jane was thrilled to find her name on the honors list after a year of hard work. 2. The university publishes an honors list every semester to acknowledge top performing students. I hope this video has clarified what honors list means and how it's used, especially in academic settings. Remember, it's a mark of excellence and hard work in one's studies. If you're striving to make it onto the honors list, keep up the great work. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more English language tips. See you in the next video.